what's up guys and welcome back to the channel today we're going to be continuing assassin's creed valhalla as you guys know in the last episode we finally chose a new elder man and we chose Algen or hogan and one of the people that was going to be selected as the new elder man wasn't okay with that which was the bishop and he had a few soldiers go in there and killed a bunch of people but we put a stop to it now we have to go talk with the new elder man and see what we're gonna have to do to stop the bishop to basically either take him down or assassinate him if we have to so without further ado guys let's get into the video okay <laughs> attack and in broad daylight what news Hunvald? we've learned that herivrith rode for the fort at anicastri following the massacre i have assembled a fiat there quite a large one in fact they eagerly await your orders eivor you mean your orders selderman ah yes that's right my orders which are which are what exactly who can say ride with me to your camp and we'll find out together Herivrith was a friend of my father's and always so dear to me. I don't understand what possessed him. He invoked the name of an ancient order before his men attacked. I know exactly what possessed him. Do you? It's not a story for now. This will send waves of disgust through all the parishes of Mercia. Herivrith is a new and ugly stain on the bishopric. Your Christ was an interesting man, if a little soft, but stranger still. I've met so few Christians like him. Today has been a boon, Eivor. In spite of everything, I now know my father's spirit still burns within me. It's thanks to you I know this. When songs are sung of the day Lincolnshire was saved, your name will ripple through every stanza. Don't be hasty, Hunwald. One verse of our song remains unsung. The din of battle beckons. You pagans and your appetite for battle. I certainly don't share it. I worry what diabolical feast the bishop has in store. Don't let that poxy bishop worry you. With Eivor beside us, he'll be victuals before long. How has Acha taken all this? She and Herivrith were so close. She must feel as though the devil himself attacked her monastery. The poor lady. We spoke briefly. Her spirits were low, but her work carried on. I think she'll be fine. Manipulated by a man who should be God's gladdener. Do you see? The feared will soon be ready for action. Our warsmith has arrived. The feards are ready to fight. Chieftain Eivor, can we win this fight with the men you see assembled here? If they fight with the bravery of double their number, we may. And is there room in your Valhalla for a ferocious swan? Of course. Let fly your glorious banner. Are we ready then? We're ready. Let's do this. We attack now. Ready the field. Our first task will be to breach the outer wall. Then we deal with the troops inside. Here's the... Mm. To me, holy warriors of Lincolnshire! The best way to breach is with a battering ram. I should help it along. Come on, guys, we have to keep moving. Move faster. Thank you. 
me to the bishop no one else need die today he he's he's in the chapel there hiding away scabrous coward let no one leave that church without facing judgment <laughs> Each 
I died the day I hid behind these robes, this cross. To bring the light of my order to a wider view, I debased myself. Clawed my way to the top of this common religion, full of common men. I should have lived as the ancients did. That's the folly of mankind, Hiravrid. We wallow in our failures like happy pigs in a sty of shit. We should have learned to enjoy it. Okay, that's it. We did it. <laughs> now we got a order thing that we can give on um, to I forgot his name. When it, uh, I f can't even say it, but it's uh, it's one of the assassins. Avon, is he? Is the bishop dead? He bled too little and talked too much. Now he's gone. I won't miss him, but Atcha will need some time to grieve. Be careful in the coming weeks. The hardest fight begins now, other man. You fought well, ferocious swan. You fought well, ferocious swan. Notched a few scars in your baby fat today. Yes, but they will heal. And stronger than before. Lincolnshire is yours to lead, Elderman. The hardest fight begins now. The din of battle still rings in my ears. I think I now know what it means to be a leader. Good. I would ask a favor, if I could. Name it. As Elderman, my life may be a dangerous one. For a time, anyway. Would you allow my Swanborough to take refuge in your settlement? At least until I feel all danger has passed. We'd be happy to have her. Thank you, my sturdy Norse berserker. The mead halls of my shire will be lonely without you stomping about. Our people are bonded now. We must look out for one another. It. I am a horror with goodbyes. It'll do for now. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranty. Let's tell her the good news. Let me see, can I talk with you? Looks like I can. Go report back to Ranby.
I have to go. Then go in peace. That's his name, Hytham. That's the name I was trying to say. One of the assassins. And his name is Hytham. Lincolnshire is a friend to us. Wonderful news. And who is our ally there? The boy Hunwald is the new elderman of Lincolnshire, and he has sworn allegiance to us. The loud one, an elderman? Well, should he ever wish to call for aid, he need only shout. <laughs> have you spoke with Hytham about Vindland? I have. Good. I have marked it on the map, with a bit of guesswork as to its location. Let me know when you wish to leave. You said Vinland? So... Maybe we should go there. I want to see the Alliance map. I have changed my mind. Uh, I want to see the alliance. Map. Let's see the alliance map. Oh, yeah. Let's do your Vic. Tell me about your Vic. Hytham says there are three more targets there. If that is true, you are in luck. Our old friends Jor and Ljuvina have made their homes in Jorvik. Both had status and influence in Norway, so they may have valuable insights into the city's politics. That would make my work easier. What say you then? Let's do it. I will go now. Do you know where I might find Hjor and Lufina? When entering a new city, it is best to ask around the ports. The people there know more than the average peasant. Uba Ragnarsson has come. He claims to have some business with you. Okay. Uba Ragnarsson, you are a long way from Repton. Do not make pleasant with me, Wolfkist. I know what you did. Did you think you could keep it a secret forever? I cannot say I know what you mean. My brother, Ivar. You banished him to Helheim. Denied him a seat in Odin's hall. You know what he did, Uba. The oaths he broke. The lies he spread. He was my brother. And a king. All this I know. But I do not regret what I did. Speak no more, Eivor. Lies are all you know. I want this settled one on one, feast to feast. Come! Are you serious, Uba? You don't see how well a weasel fights. This is your mistake to make. I will not be back. I will show you all the mercy you showed Ivan. Uh, you would have done the same in my place. You did your brother justice by coming here, but you are beaten. I suggest you leave. <clears throat> There's no shame in it. Go, and mourn as you must. Would you have denied me my reward, Eivor, had it come to it? Never. When we meet again, Eivor, may it be as friends. It will be. Okay, so you just really satisfied us because we deny your brother Baala. Seems reasonable. Okay, so I haven't discovered this place. 
Let's go do that right now. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to ask around, like Renvi said. Hi, friend. Would you help me find some of my people? I'm looking for Hjor and Lufina. Hjor? I know him. Are you a friend? I am. Then you will get no help from me, or any of the other merchants for that matter. Now, if you don't mind. Hmm. Bitter. But she all wronged him somehow. I'm looking for some friends. Been told to ask around this harbor. Lufina and Hjor. Oh, ho, ho. Sure, I know plenty. Of that, I'm certain. Mm -hmm. Little one, can you help me? I'm looking for some friends. Do the names Hjor and Lufina mean anything to you? Mm. I think I know that name. A woman. She's from Biami land. Very smart. She sounded funny, so I asked her once. Hope it wasn't rude of me. You want to speak to the dot master, Grigory? I've seen him talking with her before. My thanks. Aid me. Be my eyes. And what about me? What about my way? Move along now. We ran a clean dock in Jorvik. <laughs> what the heck was that? You must be the Dark Master. What gave it away? Everyone hates you. As I just explained to your friend there, if your wares have been seized, take it up with the council. These merchants are not my friends, but I'm looking for some. Hjor and Lufina. You know Hjor and Lufina? What business do you have with them? We know each other from Norway. Bid farewell to that land, but not to old friends. You may be glad to hear they fare quite well in Jorvik. It does not surprise me. They're driven. And so am I. Now I would like to see them again. In a manor surrounded by flowers. That's where Hjor and Yufina live. How about some coin for my trouble? How about I cut out your tongue? Forget I said anything. Why do you want coins? A manor. Pio and Lufina have done well for themselves. Keep your coin pouch close to you. There are pocket thieves around lately. <laughs> they can try. This was this house. That's a big house. Here. This is their home. The place Anyone has been here? ransacked. And this body. It's not your or Lufina. Something's up. Scattered scrolls. The thief was looking for something. There was a struggle here. Looks like it continued outside. Blood, but no body. Which way did they go? Is this one of the thieves? Hmm. The trail continues. Lord of Tengri! 
is that? Come closer. Now. It's... It's me, Lufina. It's Eivor. Eivor? What? Who sent you? Are you with them? Breathe, Lufina. You're rattled. You know me. I am a friend. Are you? You show up here like this. These people tried to kill me. We need to get out of here. Uh, I'm here to help you. I heard there was trouble in Jovik. I have only come to help. On my honor. Sorry, Eivor. I did not mean to doubt you. It has been a tense few weeks. Who were they? Why were they after you? They were after this. I do not know what it is, but these men were ready to kill me for it. A poor fellow soldier of Christ. You know him? I've seen a letter like this before, in London. This city is in great danger. Where's your? At the Royal Hall. I will take you there. Pull up your hood. We may not be safe just yet. I won't be gentle if they spot me. They are still looking for me. Hide low. We can slip past them. If they're still looking for us, why... Why are we about to pass by them? Mm -hmm. She can't have gotten far. Look around. Let's go. I think it is safe now. Gods, Eivor. Your arrival could not be better timed. Call it fate. I had hoped our paths would cross again, though I imagined a calmer reunion. We fled one problem only to find ourselves embroiled in another. While King Richier is preoccupied with the money shortage, a group called the Red Hand has been imposing their will. The ones who attacked you? Yes and no. They are bandits, but someone is controlling them. Look no further than the names in that letter. Killing them is the reason I'm here. But they are coded. They could belong to anyone. The sludge in the streets often drips from the gutters of the halls. When in doubt, look to those in power. You mean the council? Pure is on the council. That works in our favor. Someone we can trust to find the answers we seek. Yes, we are nearly there. There's Yor! Yor! Look who has come! It pleases me to see you, old friend. All are welcome here in Jorvik. It's good to find you well, Jor. Both of you. What are you doing here? You have not come all this way for the Yuletide. I've come to warn you, old warrior, about a rut in your city. Three figures, corrupt and dangerous. We should work together to bring them into the light, and kill them before they come to power. However I may help, I am ready. Slow yourselves. Eivor, we cannot just go running around the city, poking and prodding and killing at will. They nearly did me, Jor. What? 
These people sent the Red Hand after her, ready to shed blood in your streets to keep themselves a secret. But they failed. Uh, this is the letter that was sent to our home. The Needle, the Firebrand, the Vault. They belong to a group called the Order of Ancients. These are their assumed names. Our leads. Listen to him, Yor. He has dealt with their kind before. Corruption has seeped its way into your week. But King Rishia's hands are full, which means my hands are full. Counsel on this matter will fall on deaf ears. I do not want his counsel. All I have told you stays between the three of us. But you should introduce me to the king. I will need to align with him if we are to go about this freely. are winning this war. We should be scraping together every ounce of silver to procure food for our men. Understood, dear Farafit. But we also have a responsibility to our townspeople. The Yule type must go on. Enough. The more you argue, the more my head hurts. Cure. I was not aware we had company. The likes of which I did not approve. You know what? I'll be nice. King Rhysia, I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Well, Eivor of the Raven Clan, as you can see, I'm in the middle of something. Hyor, perhaps for lack of better judgment, deems it necessary that you interrupt. Why? You have a problem in Jorvik. Yes, I'm looking at it. A problem that nearly got my friend killed. Lufina was attacked by the Red Hand. They raided her home, destroyed her property and chased her through the streets. Those bloody scoundrels again. She survived. But the Red Hand has been a growing problem here of late. And what is your stake in this? You some sort of wandering mercenary? No. This is Sigurd Jarl's Drenger. Took our old camp by the river Nene, as I hear it. I am Farhavid. War chief to Haftan Ragnarsson. And this well-fed wastrel is Alden, High Reef of Jorvik. I have seen rebel groups like this before. They sit and wait. And the moment you lower your guard, they spring up like weeds. If left alone, they will take Jorvik out from under you. Not what you want. Not what Hafton wants. Oh, dear. What do you want? Tell me what you know about the Red Hand, and I will rid your city of them. You can go about your affairs. They've been sticking their hands in coffers around the city, targeting nobles, merchants, and anyone else they can throttle. And they are growing, as you said. I would rather not be worrying about them come Yuletide. This is not something we can afford to ignore. If we do not have the means to deal with the Red Hand, we should let Eivor. Do what you can, but do it quietly. I do not want the public alarmed. Pure. Send funds to procure food and ale for Faravid's men. And make sure there's enough left over for the feast. But it's as I said. We don't have... Find it. I have spoken. ...tells me to find more silver. Where? In a dragon's hoard? Come. I will take you back to Lufina. She will know where to begin. I cannot tell if that went the way you had hoped. It went well enough. Rishay will stay out of my way. No one can argue the Red Hand must be dealt with. Speak a word of this to no one. The circle of trust must stay between the three of us. You will forgive me for stepping away. I grow weary of those pissing contests. Uh, my love, I am sorry for what happened. I should have been there. Nonsense. You have your duties to fulfill. Besides, a few bandits is hardly something to worry over. I am only glad you were not harmed. Eivor, I will be around if you need me. Once you catch the tail, you do not let go. Old habits die with the struggle. Yours has changed. Softened. Politics. It takes the Norse out of a Norse. I'm happy for him. And you as well. You have made something of yourselves here. Perhaps. What do you have there? Christian texts. The Gospels. Ecclesiastes. The Revelation of John. 
The Red Hand steals all they can find. We may run the city now, but the Christians must still be allowed to worship as they see fit. Seems the Red Hand disagrees. What's more, Althon is worried they will come for the Archives next. Between this and all the uproar at the harbor, I would say we have some leads. What does the Red Hand want with the Holy Texts? What does the Red Hand want with Christian texts? That is the question. Whatever it is, there is no length they will not go to to retrieve them. They have even burned people alive who refuse to hand over what they demand. Where is the largest collection of texts in the city? The archives. But they haven't been so bold as to attack it yet. Aldon keeps a close eye on the place. I will try my luck there. I went by the harbor when I first arrived. The Duckmaster looked wary when I asked about you. That does not surprise me. He's been using Jorvik's money shortage to increase taxes. As if he's been ordered to by the Council. Jor would never wrong the people like that, even if Rishier demanded it. The Dark Master is a thief and a liar. A man in need of a throttling. I will have another look around the harbor. Try the Trade Depot. It's where he's holding the merchant's wares. I'll get started at once. No, I need you here. Listen to the voices in this hall. Look for any signs, changes in behavior, anything. I would swallow a horse heart to join you, Eivor. I know, old friend. Your loyalty is why I need you here. I will return when I find something. Okay. It sounds like things are gonna get really tough. Because this whole place is being corrupted. From the, you can see from the inside, and they're trying to they're trying to do what they can, but they don't have money or they don't have the people to actually do it. So now, we're the ones that have to go and find out what's going on and take care of the problem. Well, I'm gonna continue this on the next video, guys. So I hope you have a, you have a good day, and. Thank you for tuning in to another YouTube video. Catch you guys later. Peace.